you guys doing? So, um, if you guys are new to my channel, <laughs> um, sorry, one second. Welcome, and um, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I talk about all my favorite celebrities, and um, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> um, <coughs> got like a little bug in my phone, I'm so sorry. Um, if you're new to my channel, I talk about all my favorite celebrities. I have like these the most amazing dreams. Like I love them. And they all relate to my testimony. And it's all just like I feel like um God has been like leaving me breadcrumbs to uh find the my Holy Spirit of prophecy that I lost when I was a kid. And my last video I talked about with Aaliyah. Um I talked about her like stealing my holy spirit and like keeping him trapped in like a dark room because he didn't like like that means that he just didn't know the truth about anything that represents like my own body like being in the dark because of like hypnosis or whatever it was in the past that stole my gift of prophecy in the past you know i know that like i've seen in music videos and stuff because of my gift of prophecy like i can see the works of that in, in their music like in Aaliyah's like the videos and stuff so like seeing my my beautiful holy spirit sitting there in the dark represents myself and um <clears throat> it's just like this 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 video i'll see so first of all every celebrity i see represents like a different person uh, principality okay so in this dream i actually see where i'm like picking out who's gonna do what because my gift got stolen in my last video okay <laughs> this is where i'm like seeing this now okay my gift gets stolen and then i see this little gnome they turn me into like a little small person obedient to the devil and not god or obedient to lies or like strife or like the snake you know <coughs> excuse me and um i guess i'm assuming Aaliyah is like she represents a principality that steals um, authentic gifts of prophecy from the kingdom of heaven by like witchcraft or hypnosis or whatever it is. So in this dream I'm talking about like my life journey from when this happened to now and how I plan to get my whole um, gift back and planning specific hardships in my life. So that once I overcome these hardships, I'll have the spirit of redemption, the blood of Jesus Christ of redemption to fight these, this, um, this curse in the past that stole my, my Holy Spirit, my spirit of prophecy. Okay. So first of all, this is about the business of self-destruction for the devil. Okay. I had a dream about it and, um, like I saw it before and I didn't think much of it I didn't think much it had much uh, significance but I know now that it does so the first thing I'm gonna say is you know the the last part of my dream I saw Leah putting me on her lap like she wanted to share an authority have a covenant with me in the spirit but she was gonna take my holy spirit okay and then I saw like two other visions that represented my body after this happened and then after that vision closed I prayed when I saw it and I said Jesus Christ please do not let that be on me okay that's when I started having my dreams started praying in tongues you know the Holy Spirit hears you okay like the Bible represents like incense as like the spirit of prayer but I know now that uh, when you speak in tongues physically your Holy Spirit can hear you. That's a language that only He understands and only He hears. And nothing can stop that. Okay? So, after that, um, I was, I, I was, I see, I had a vision. This vision opened up. And, well, let me go back, okay? After that vision, I saw my Holy Spirit. 
and all these visions well let me just uh talk about me on the bed with all these little toy animals okay so all these little toys there was like one was like a uh, like an elephant uh giraffe like every little animal there was like i was sitting on the bed with my legs crossed and i was like i had them all standing in front of me i was like 12 years old i had a white shirt on so i was doing the righteous thing okay Although my circumstances were horrible because the gift of my Holy Spirit was stolen at a young age, okay? So I was like sitting there, pointing it out. That means that I was setting up, um, setting up my life of battling for my spirit of prophecy and, um, naming the authorities for who I see, okay? Like I see, well I know now that everyone I see like represents self-destruction because my uh, the dream I had like I saw a devil in a factory saying that he's in the business of, the, of destruction of self okay so now I know that they all represent self destruction after my gift was stolen and that's how I got my favor for sin because it was self destruction okay and um, that's why I'm like fighting the world losing my favor and being in complete isolation so that I can be free from that okay like, they all represent the vision and self-destruction, okay? So, um, like, I see, like, Drake as, like, a betrayal, for instance. I see Beyonce as, like, suffering. But they all represent something different, like, from a different time in my life. Like, I see Beyonce as, like, suffering because of, like, greed. I see, uh, Rihanna as, like, um, failure because of pride, because of envy. I see Drake as like a betrayal. I've seen Drake as like many things, but I think the main thing that he is is like a betrayal. He's like a betrayal of a confession, like talking so much and he sounds stupid. Like I've done that before. Like I see Drake as that person. Um, I see Cardi B as like the vision or like she's also like self-destruction, I think. Uh, like an attack against my mind. Like by like, you know, um, I know now that, that people accuse me of being division, being a, being a principality for, for division. And it's like, you know, like saying that my gift is from the devil when it's not, that's, uh, okay, I, I, I've seen my Holy Spirit. He ain't a snake. He ain't a dragon. He's not even an animal, okay? He's a human. I've seen him, okay? beautiful beautiful um, spirit okay so after I pointed out these after they stole my gift I decided who's gonna do what okay you're the right person to be this betrayal you're the right person to be the vision you're the right person to be the snake you're the right person to be destruction and uh, that's like basically what I did but when I was in the spirit and I started praying in tongues and my Holy Spirit heard me and I prayed against it. This is like, this happened when I was like 12. And this is like happening now, okay? Like, this dream only picked up when I started seeing my dreams and praying in tongues. And he heard me. And uh, I seen like all these buildings, all the windows getting shattered. Like, you just hear like getting shattered. So that means that I'm exposing my testimony and uh, destroying all the plans for like the devil in the future basically is what that means okay because um, I specifically I guess plan this out to get my gift back and this is how okay so my my first dream you know I saw um, first of all I'm gonna say this okay I think this is why this happened to me when I did that um, you know, first of all, like, hypnosis, I saw this lady saying that she don't know the Holy Spirit, she only did witchcraft on herself, so, like, drugs is self-destruction, so if you know someone that sells drugs, I mean, I don't sell drugs, but if you know a drug dealer, they're in the business of self-destruction, okay, if you're with that person, you have the soul tie, that's how they can link you to that, okay, so now I'm, like, apparently have a soul tie with this self-destruction, and that's why I was getting favor for sin because I was like stealing from myself or like destroying myself without even knowing it because I couldn't see because I was in the dark 
but before they stole my gift, I planned this out, okay? So hopefully uh, I knew before I lost like my memories of everything that happened. So I saw this devil and like, he, didn't, he wasn't like a scary devil. He was just like kind of like a man looking type of person-ish. And he just had like two horns. And he was a factory. And he said, oh, I'm in the destruction of self. And I was like, um, okay, you know. So then I was like out. It was beautiful outside. We were in all these different places. And again, I was like in Texas, okay. And I was like in this beautiful room. It was light outside. And like, I wanted to take a shower. And then I went, went out into this like yard. And I saw my father sitting there. And like, I've been wanting to like, call my father and talk to him and I just like can't for some reason sorry I don't know why this lash is like this one and this one's like laying down you know so um that's weird so um in in my dream when I saw my dad I was like oh he's here I wanted to take a shower first but no I want to see him first okay so I didn't take a shower and I just spent time with him instead okay in the dream then after that, like, we were trying to throw out this garbage, and when they were pulling it out, I had to, it got stuck on the bottom, I had to rip the bag, and the whole trash almost fell out, but it didn't, and then it luckily was able to take out, then we were, like, in an airplane, it was just, like, a really fun dream, actually, so, you know, first of all, accusations are dangerous, okay, so if you're accusing someone of doing something to themselves all the time, when you know that they're just, like, unaware of the truth and you're not you know like you're planting that in their mind although i want to say that when they stole my gift i planned this out so i could overcome them okay so what that means is first of all and we were like in an airplane seeing a factory is like a church um it could be like a business Or it could be something else, okay? So when I accused all these principalities, uh, I was going to accuse them all of self-destruction. Because they were going to make me destroy myself by stealing my gift. This was like my payback, I guess, apparently, according to my dream interpretation, okay? So pointing them out means that I was going to accuse them of being idols, being foolish, self-destruction. So that I can get my spirit back, okay? And um, the factor with the devil can be a church or a business uh, with joy for self destruction, okay? Um, so, you know, I had a pill addiction, okay? That's self destruction. So, one thing I want to say about self destruction is just like. A wrong teaching, destroying people for your own benefit, self-righteous works or religious works, okay? So, and, you know, witchcraft and drugs, in the spirit, they could be related as the same thing, okay? When someone's doing hypnosis, they're doing witchcraft in the spirit. When someone's doing drugs, it could relate the same way, okay? So hypnosis... You're in, the, you're in the business of self-destruction. You are self-destruction, okay? So, like, that's what your business is because in the spirit you're doing witchcraft, okay? And when you're doing drugs, usually there's witchcraft on you. So when I had my gift, um, someone did witchcraft on the church I was at and on me so that this whole thing could be plotted against me so that my gift could be stolen from me at a young age. And I had to give the prophecy. I told him it was going to happen anyways. And I uh, decided who was going to do what for these authorities that I see in the world, you know. So, I know that that's why it's happened because I've seen it in many videos, okay. So, I know that the place that it happened physically is not where it happened in the spirit, okay. You know, it happened in hell. Or the Illuminati or whoever's into, like, the business of self-destruction, which I believe is, like, the Illuminati, you know. So after that, um, first of all, I was on drugs, right? Well, let me talk, let me interpret the rest of this dream first. When I saw my dad there, 
and I hadn't showered, like, I just thought that I have no favor right now in the world. And, like, when you go, like, two days without showering, and, and I just, like, can't get out of bed because I'm sick or I'm on drugs, I know I did that so that I could see my father in the spirit because apparently he was cursed with this too, okay? With some type of self-destruction. I don't think my dad ever sold drugs. But he might have had a soul tie, you know, or uh, something like that in the past. I know that I had a soul tie with someone that sold drugs. So that could be why I, like, for some reason I got accused of being in this business or something. I took on this drug addiction for self-destruction. And I overcame it, okay, like, for healing. So, when I was having a pill addiction, pills are supposed to be for healing. It became an addiction, and it destroyed me. That's the same way that hypnosis is, okay? People do hypnosis for healing, so that they can get paid for whatever. And it works the same way as a drug addiction, okay? You get addicted to it, and then you get destroyed by your own works, because they're evil. They're not good. God doesn't favor them. Um, you know, like, God has wrath for, for, uh, self-destruction, self-destructive works. You know, like the Bible says in, um, Galatians 5, 19, 21. Now the works of the flesh are evident. People do rich, you know, people do witchcraft for, for the works of their own flesh, okay? So the reason why people did this to me was because of greed, okay? Spirit, of, uh, like this hypnotic person. Someone probably did witchcraft on her or on the church. And uh, that's how it happened, you know? Like, they, they staged it or whatever. I know that the hearts of the people around me are not wicked. So I know that this was all staged. Although, uh, when you know the truth, you have a choice to make the right choice. Okay? It's your choice. If you choose to make the wrong choice, you suffer the consequences, right? So, in Galatians 5, 19, 21, it says, Now the works of the flesh are evident. You know? God says that we, we sow at the... At the end, God uh, picks out the tares through the through the wheat. They look the same, but they're not. Okay, one is a weed and one is like fruitful. Okay, like wheat, like for bread. And He says that we'll know them by their works. So when I was accusing these principalities, I just uh, realized who they were because I was picking picking them out. Like, oh, this person does this and this and this and what they say, and that's how I realized I was picking through these these the weeds. You know. And it says, now the works of the flesh are evident. Um, se sexual morality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sens um, sorcery. That's also a work of the flesh, okay? Enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of rage, rivalries, dissension, envy, drunkenness, orgies. Things like these, I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God, okay? So, I dabbled in witchcraft, okay? When I overcame witchcraft, I overcame hypnosis. Because now I have the spirit of redemption, because I, I beat that spirit a long time ago. You know, I dabbled in witchcraft myself. I almost got into, like, this whole thing with my friend. But fear chased me away from it. So I already overcame the spirit of this hypnosis. Because it was fueled by witchcraft, okay? In the spirit, that's that's where it came from, or possibly even on earth by these, like, weirdos who were into all this stuff, okay? So, I planned out this situation for witchcraft when I was a kid so I could overcome the spirit of this hypnosis because it came from witchcraft, okay? Now I have a spirit of overcoming this witchcraft. Um, then I chose self-destruction because... Uh, the principalities that I, the principalities that I chose, I accused them of being self-destruction so that they could destroy themselves um, out of like vengeance and rage for what was done to me because they know the truth. And then I got on drugs, a pill addiction, again, uh, to overcome witchcraft for their own healing so that when I overcome this self-destruction thing that becomes a curse, I overcome them as well. So now I have this spirit of redemption from witchcraft to beat this hypnosis. And I have the spirit of redemption from self-destruction to beat the destruction that came from it. Okay. So when I was doing that to myself, when you're on drugs, you're, you know, you're literally doing it to yourself. Like you can't help yourself. 
you start beating up them demons inside of you. And when you overcome them, you have the redemption of Jesus Christ. Like the Bible says, you deliver a deadly blow. Sometimes you have to deliver a deadly blow from your body to be um, delivered from something. Okay. Like when I got delivered from pride, it was because I got punched in the nose. It's still crooked. Okay. So now I have the spirit of redemption from pride. So if the, if the spirit of pride around me uh, attacks me, I already beat pride in myself when I got punched in the nose because of a betrayal. So if anyone who has pride around me, I have the power now with the redemption of Jesus Christ to destroy them because I did it in myself. Okay. So, like, I was, you know, also, like, ripping this garbage bag. Because, so this means, like, I have joy, I know the truth. In the spirit, when I saw my father sitting there, you know, like, your father can be, like, the Holy Spirit or someone you see as, like, someone that you love. Which is why, like, I, I, uh, I took on this drug addiction. To see someone that I loved and like if I ever have like lazy and I don't clean it's because of the spirit of self-destruction that uh, I have no favor for like I'm doing it to myself just so I can see my family members because I have no favor for like the world okay like I'm like by myself and for some reason I just cannot find the favor to even call my father even though I love him so much it's like so sad so that was pretty much it, you know. That was the plan I came up with, I guess. Um, you're gonna, you know, like, uh, they're gonna force you to have a covenant with them. Then they're gonna force you into another covenant. Uh, forced into the covenant with the devil. Then when you overcome that, then you're really gonna have uh, the power to redeem your Holy Spirit from this original covenant in the beginning with this Aaliyah person that uh, apparently forced me into self-destruction. So that I could steal my own opportunities just to give them back to me when I needed them. But I know that a lot of that purpose was to like, you know, you have a covenant with someone, we're in this together. We all self-destruction, okay? So, it's like, this was like purposely made uh, to have vengeance on them for what they did. And also have redemption for my Holy Spirit, which is like now, okay? I overcame witchcraft in the past. I overcame pride in the past. I overcame greed. I have a lot of spirits of deliverance to free my Holy Spirit now. Um, envy. I overcame envy many, many eons ago. I hate envy with a passion. Okay, like I hate envious. It's like, girl, you need to do something with your son. Why is you being such a hater? Okay, like. Anyways, so I overcame all these spirits, purposely planned out this spirit of, you know, this life of hardships so that uh, I can overcome them and get my spirit back, you know, by overcoming witchcraft in myself, be hypnosis, by overcoming self-destruction in myself, beating destruction from this hypnosis with self-destruction. Uh, because get, having no favor, when my favor came from that covenant, I don't want a favor from that. You know, I want favor from a covenant with the Holy Spirit. My true Holy Spirit that I saw. So beautiful. So, that was it, y'all know. I hope that you guys enjoy this. Please like and subscribe. And, um, that's it. Pray for me and pray for the celebrities. If they're holy, by God's grace. And, um, that's it, okay. Bye.